Hello everyone. In this video, we will be talk talking about ETL pipeline in AWS. So first of all, let us understand what is ETL. ETL stands for Extract, Transform and Load. So basically what we are doing, we are collecting the data set from various source system. Then we are transforming it, means cleaning the data. After that, we are loading into, into the destination system. So here in AWS, we are using Amazon S3 as our source system and the data set is given in CSV file. With the help of glue, I am going to do some transformation like cleaning of data. Then with the help of IAM, I am giving it necessary permission required so that glue can do its job. After that, I am querying the data using Amazon Athena. Once the transformation is done, we are loading it into target system, which is again S3, but the data set will be saved in packet format. So first of all, let us go to the demonstration. So here I am going into the AWS management console. So first of all, you have to go to S3 and you have to create a bucket. So click on S3. Me one minute. S3. Then you have to click on create bucket. Here you have to give the name ETL 007. Let us say I have given the bucket name as ETL 007. Next, I will allow all the public access. I will click on acknowledge and I will click on create bucket. Now I will go inside my bucket and I will create two folder. First folder is the source. Dear. Second folder is the destination. Now in the source, I am uploading one data file. So I will click on upload, which is in the CSV format. Once the data set is uploaded, what you have to do, you have to glue to glue for the transformation part. So glue is a service in ET in AWS, which is used for data transformation. So I will go to glue. Now, first thing that I have to do is I have to create a database. So I will click on create database. Click on add database, give your database a name. So what is my database name? Let me make it as crawler. Now here you have to specify your location. Currently I have not specified my location. So what I will do, I will go to S3. I will just copy the source location. So I'll go to ETL and just copy my source location here. I'll paste it here. Now we'll click on create database. Now your database is created. Next step is to create a table. So there are two ways to create a table. First of all, you can do it using manually at with the help of add table option. Second, you can use it using the crawler. So I am doing it using the crawler. So I'll click on add table using crawler. Give your crawler a name. So let me make crawler 001. Click on next. Now here it is. You have to choose the data sources and classifier. So I is the data already mapped. Currently my data is not mapped. So it is not yet. Now I'll click on the data source. So here you have to specify your data source here. 
so i will go to browse s3 go to my etl pipeline click on my source click on choose done now you have to click on add an s3 data source for the classifier part i am leaving it as blank now you have to create one iam rule so click on create new iam rule so basically iam rule is basically used so that glue have the necessary permission in order to perform the transformation operation now i'll click on next now you have to choose your target database so my target database is crawler now when you want to schedule the crawler i want to schedule the crawler based on my demand so i will click on frequency is on demand you can do it on a hourly basis also you can roll crawler on the weekly basis monthly basis also so currently for my purpose i am using it on demand now i'm clicking on next reviewing it click on create cr crawler once the crawler is created now what you have to do you have to click on run crawler it will take some time in order to run the crawler as we can see my crawler is in running state now we can see my crawler is successfully run which is crawler 001 and it is showing tab one table created now i will go to my table section here you can see my table is get created if i click on table data with the name and name it will open amazon athena so if i just click on run it will show you my the data so these are all my data so remember that amazon athena is used for querying the data using sql like syntax now our trans our crawling step is done now what i have to do i have to go to etl jobs for the transformation stage so there are various ways to do it first do you can do it using the coding second you can do it using the visual workflow so i will mean going to use visual etl pipeline so this is the interface of visual etl so first of all what you have to do you have to click your source so what is my source my source is aws glue data catalog so i'll click on it and i will configure it so choose your database which is crawler and choose your table which is source that now what do you have to do now you have to go to transform your source is configured in the transform what i am going to do i am basically renaming some field here so let us say i have a column 1 so i will click on column 1 and i am giving it a name as label now i'm doing one more steps which is to drop a column so i will click on drop field so basically here i am dropping one field which is column 0 now i am doing my target so what is my target target is my s3 so i will be searching for s3 here now the format is parquet you can choose any one any format json avro org etc currently my format is parquet and my target location if you remember we have created one destination folder now i'll click on etl click on the destination that now you have configured all your it transformation stages now what you have to do you have to give your job a name so let us say job 1 here you can see that in the script a script is automatically generated based on the things that you have done now what i have to do 
I have to just click on save and it is saved. Once the ETL job is saved, the next step is to run it. So click on run and the run is started. So you can see that currently my job is in a running state. Now it will take some time in order to run the job. Now just wait for a few seconds. Now we can see that my ETL job is successfully run. Now what I will go, I will go inside the S3 and I will go to the target folder. Basically the destination folder. So you can see that a file is get created with the packet format. Now we have seen that how to create an ETL pipeline using AWS.